Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. Here we will discuss about rules we should follow during working in a lab. Our basic preference is biotech and microbiology labs. They may cause infectious disease risk to persons in or near them. So basic necessities are here. We should wear gloves for hand safety, lab coat for body protection, safety shower for emergency purposes. Having contact with acids, we should have sanitizer in our bag as we are living in highly infectious era of corona. Our lab should have containers for broken glass. The chemicals we use during experiment will need to disperse also in a special container. We should be a goggles to protect eye. Eye wash, basin, room and dustpan, biohazard bag and fire extinguisher is also required. Do not eat, drink, beverages or chew gum in lab. And also try to avoid using lab containers or glossaries for eating purposes. Food may be stored in cabinets or refrigerators designated and used for this purpose only that are located outside of work area. Dress properly, wear lab coat, dark toy hairs, avoid jewelry and shoes should must cover food. All these precautions should keep in mind during working. We should wear safety goggles and masks. While working, it, it is your responsibility to work carefully and do not let the glassware broke. You should treat lab like your home. Make sure it is all clean. After entering, put your bag and your plate and while placing unnecessary books, paper, coats on lab shelf. Do not directly handle chemical with naked and with naked hand, always wear gloves and use squeezer to pick hot testicles and keep distance of one foot away from specimens. Never return unused chemical to the original container. If any mishap occur or you see your glass broken, do not handle directly, but try to report your lab assistant or teacher. After this, by making safety measures, Put the trash into safety container. In case of contact of any acid with eye, instantly wash eyes and then consult your doctor. Person should wash their hands after handling infectious materials and animals and when they leave the laboratory. Thank you so much.